You see what we did? Holy shit, we pulled it out, yeah, and we found, like... Let, let me show you. We're moving a rotten terrace. And, uh, and we discovered not only one old oil tank, but two more accesses to our sewage, which would explain why we had a problem with the sewage. And it was built in such a way that there was no water drainage. So this should be free to let the house breathe. It was covered up to there. This is all one shit show. All one massive shit show. But we saved as much as we could. We'll reuse it for the bottom of our terrace. So we're gonna flatten it out and make a driveway access. This is also fucked now. Should be fixed then. Be fixed. Okay, I have to get back to work. This is the tree, oh. rotten tree, totally rotten tree. So we had to take it out and this is gonna be our new mushroom farm. So this week I'll order hey, some things which we put in there and then we can hopefully have oyster mushrooms in a couple of months. We already found oyster mushrooms growing naturally so we're hoping if we give them a little bit of chemical help or not chemical help natural enzymes whatever it's called Oof. put this on to keep it support how do i stand on top of it though <laughs> You want to? Yeah. I don't know. It would help. Yeah. Excellent. Let me just try.
Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the re that's the reaction. This looks very nice. The weather is also nice, especially compared to yesterday. It's getting more and more complicated and uh, it's really hard to, to find a way to contact the public in a proper way, to stay uh, on, this, on stage. I think the social media now, this is a complicated topic because I am I'm still not sure is it, is it good for a classical music industry completely or is it actually a bad thing? I mean, I already had experience that places that I was keeping in touch with or organizations that reached out, they may very much look at how you present yourself online as well. And from my point of view, social media helped a lot, I would say. But I'm still, as you, as you said, I'm keeping it very, I, th I think one, can, one should keep it very real. So for me, it doesn't work. I prefer to have it, you know, to have this kind of distance between me, also my personal life, which I am not sharing completely, of course. Hmm. This is hard to ga gain not popula pla popularity not on Instagram, for, Instagram for with Webern, for example. So <laughs> that's the thing with social media. Bardzo dobrze słyszę, siebie nie słyszę. Cichy instrument jest ten fortepian, strasznie jest cichy. No nie będę walczyć o więcej na nim, bo to się skończy źle, bo zobacz, bo tutaj... Tak, tak, tak. Nie. See, the rats haven't come through here, they haven't come through here yet. Okay, so that makes no sense that there's only three eggs. So, somewhere, they're hiding. Because why are there only three eggs? Unless they're not laying them, because they're too cold or something. Maybe it's too windy. Not in here. That's why I think still the rat's coming in and taking them. But let's see, because there's three now. And it's midday. Maybe there's some more later. Fucking rats. The schools, by concept, might be a bit wrong. They are helping the young musicians to develop faster and better, 
on one side and on the other side they give the opportunity to a lot of people to think that this can be done as a profession and most of the times it's not that easy as it seems when you are studying and most of the schools don't teach you that you cannot reproduce what you've learned in school one-to-one -one when you finish studying and if you don't figure that out by yourself and not only that next to figuring it out by yourself you need to understand what you want and why should you be part of classical music what can you bring to it or who are the people you would like to get together with and create something. These things are not taught, these are the things that we are supposed to discover ourselves and I think that's very exciting, I think that's very good, but I think people should be aware of the fact that nobody is out there in order to teach you these things and they should be known to every single young musician and we should have the freedom of trying things out and fail and not be judged for the failure. That's probably what I think is the biggest problem right now. Um, is there any salt in this house? Yes. We did go through the whole video, but we did go through the whole height and now we go through the whole food. Yes. Oh, Olivia? Yeah. You know what I just found in here? Do you want a drink? Yes. What? Wine. Should I just do both of them? What? Uh, what? Should the I both? pour both of them in there? Um, probably not, since they're no. different bottles. Ah, they're different? I mean, they're the same brand okay, okay, okay. with different no, bottles. Isn't this how I make wine? Isn't it warmer than here? Because the fire... By pouring in? Yes, by pouring two different together. Yeah. That's how we make rosé, right? Yeah. White and red. <laughs> For some reason, we don't have eight proper plates over here, and I have no idea why that is. Today and uh, until Sunday night. I was thinking I should visit. I just left everything. Oh. Yeah. Then you want me to say concert? No, I won't go that way. Maybe she went back to Sydney. All these plates and stuff, do we just put them with the yeah. concrete? Yeah. Put them, all the stone stuff. Yeah. I reckon these bricks as well. This just fucking Most of them, of them are broken as well. Yeah, let's just them shove everything in there. Okay. And then uh, drive it around to the. Yeah. Also the. the yeah, also the. Yes. Let's get that with it. I think we did it in smart order. Yeah. Because that way we're not sitting in mud. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> A lot of random shit on the ground here. Yeah. yeah, just drive it up, straight up, and then throw it in. Yeah, so plenty of work. 
Ganz erfolgreich.